conservation of momentum questions can be some of the trickiest things that could come up in paper too. So let's have a look at a question together. In this question, we've got two hockey players and it says they, there is a collision and after the collision, two players move off together to the right. It says calculate the velocity of the two players after the collision. And earlier in the question, it also tells us to make sure we know that momentum is conserved. So if momentum is conserved, we start off with that point and we say momentum before the collision is going to be equal to the momentum after the collision. To calculate the momentum is quite an easy equation. It's on your equation sheet. And momentum P is equal to the mass times by the velocity of any object you're trying to work out the momentum of. So first of all, we're going to work out the momentum before the collision, and then we're going to use that to work out the velocity after. So before, we can use these two objects or two hockey players to work out their total momentum. So we've got A and B. Let's work them out separately. So for A, the mass is 78 kilograms. The velocity they're traveling at is positive 7.5. And for B, we've got a mass of 91 kilograms, and they're traveling a negative velocity of 5.5 meters per second. So if I work out both of these, first of all, that will help us out a bit later on. The first one, if you times those two numbers together, gives you 585, and uh, that's kilogram meters per second, the unit for momentum. The second one is going to be negative, because we're times in by a negative, gives you minus 500.5 kilogram meters per second. Now, because we're looking for the total momentum before, all we do is we add those together. So 585 plus minus 500.5, uh, you basically take them away, uh, which is going to give you an overall momentum of 84.5 for the momentum before. Once we've got the momentum before, we can then use that to work out the momentum afterwards. Now the key point here is that the two players, they move together to the right. So if I was to sort of draw this on before, um, they are these two separate um, objects moving together. Afterwards, they are stuck together, moving off with a sort of joint velocity to the right. So all that means is they're acting as one velocity, we can add together their two masses, M1 and M2, together. So if I have momentum before is equal to 84.5, afterwards um, is going to be the same. So after, we're going to have the momentum is equal to 84.5, which is going to be equal to the mass times the velocity. And the mass in this case is the two masses added together. So it's 78 kg plus 91 kg times by the velocity which we're trying to find. That's the whole point of this question. So if you add together um, 78 plus 91, we're going to come up with our expression for V being 84.5 divided by those two added together, which is 169, and that's going to give us our velocity, which turns out to be a quite nice round number, uh, 0.5 meters per second for this question. So that's four marks, one for working out the momentum of um, player one, one for momentum of player two, then the final calculation, and one for the final answer.